There's a lot more to a movie's audio than lines of dialogue and a musical score. There's also the sound that everyday objects make. Footsteps in the sand, say, or a spoon clinking against a coffee mug. That's the province of Foley artists who create those sounds, which are then added to a film or TV show's audio track. So we are here at the Archive Foley stage at Skywalker Sound. It was built from the ground up, and it's only been in operation for just about six months. And uh, I'm here with Shelley Roden and John Resch, two of the masterminds who run the sound gig here and have worked on all manner of movies and other things. And we're going to have a little fun today, yeah? You're actually going to get your Foley training license today, signed by both Shelley and myself. You're Fantastic. going to become a female rabbit today. My dream finally realized. Let's get into it. The mission was to do Foley for a scene from the Disney animation movie Zootopia. But while that might sound simple, there was nothing simple about making those sounds. My first mission on the road to being a Foley master was making rabbit footsteps using rubber-coated gardening gloves. Chalk it up to beginner's luck, but the first go wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, first off, I believe what you're doing. That, in other words, I was watching the screen like you were, I was hearing it, and I believed what I was hearing. And that's really the key to Foley. Next up, I had to replicate the sound of an animated suitcase. Foley may look weird, but it's all about giving a scene satisfying sonic texture. That's pretty darn good, cool. I have to say. Yeah, I like the character of what you were doing. Yep. Well, I Did gave it some backstory. That? This picture's been through a lot. <laughs> and then the grand finale, the sound of an animated bunny flopping onto an animated bed. I had to get suggestions from the pros for this one. Like, hold these in the air. Oh my Something God, like the, the, the advanced techniques are blowing <laughs> my mind. All right. That was perfect. <laughs> Great. So, really so you've done it. So, Scott, could you play the scene back, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Peter. Greasy walls. Rickety bed. Crazy neighbors. I love it! I have to say, with the star cameo turn by you with that second picture frame, that was, it was a thing of beauty. Oh, Thank you so, so much. Humble. You did great. 